you got to take a risk sometimes, though. You know, like, for me, like, doing the shoe shit, like, I was telling Corey before, like, there's days, like, I feel like I've just been in, like, a rut recently, but I was telling him, like, I'll wake up one day and be like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I should, you know, go corporate or, like, just do something, you know, that's normal, run-of-the-mill kind of job. But then there's the next day I'll wake up and be like, no, nah, this is fucking awesome. But I guess my mindset is, like, I'd rather do this now if it doesn't work out, you know, at least I tried. I don't want to look back, you know, that would be a big regret if I look back and was like, damn, I was pretty good at that. Like, I should have kept going, I should, you know, so I don't want to think about that. No, that, I fear the, that, I fear getting to a place in the future where I look back and I regret not going for it. And dude, I've been on the same wave. It's just, it, I feel like it's every time summer ends, like this just, but especially for me, because like just I'm, I've been in that mindset because every fall and you know this because yeah. you were the one getting ready with me basically yeah. <laughs> we were 15 foot blocks of wood still to this day no one has ever done Calms what we us. have done but poor a one on his shoulder and we're me and you were trying mm-hmm. to figure out how to do it but just getting ready for reds every August it was like summer was over for me I've never really got to experience Labor Day the past couple years like Labor Day weekend because once August comes around I'm starting to get ready and when you started working at Reds, it was the same thing. You came back with me, and we got it ready. And then even the next year. But this is the first fall where Reds is not open, or, or at least Reds New Brunswick. Obviously, Reds Newark is still going. Uh, Reds Meadowlands, Reds in, in Carlstadt, right by MetLife Stadium, still going. And then the Roosevelt up there, they're all still going. But for me, I'm taking a step back from that, and I'm going after something new. And it's just constantly, you're constantly thinking and running back and forth about all these options and like what, it, it, like if I am doing it right or not, like am yeah. I supposed to be doing this? Like should I be doing this? Yeah, every day it's like a multiple thought switch ups. It's just like, it's tough doing something. I was telling Corey too, is when you're doing something unorthodox, it's just sometimes you just fear that it's not the right path. It's just so hard because, you know, there's so many people that are, especially my age right now, even though I'm 24, but like getting married, having kids, yeah, doing the thing. And, and the thing is that doesn't really, if like I don't look at other people and, I'm, and, and think like, oh man, like they're all doing this. Should I be mm-hmm. doing that? It's not, that's not what I'm thinking about. I'm just thinking about like you think whether or not it is going to work and, and you think about how much work you're putting into what you're doing mm-hmm. And then you think about like, okay, well, you could just go the safe route or go back. Like, I could just go back to Reds, PayPal. work with my family. I've already seen, you know, baby. <laughs> go, go back, back to, to PayPal, PayPal for all the operations. <laughs> but it's just like, you just constantly think about this stuff when you're, when you're going after something for yourself or doing something you love that isn't so conventional, like a nine to five or like a steady job or just going back to work with my family yeah. at Reds. Like for me, it's just, you think, I think about it every day and it's, but we're not the only ones who are going. I know everybody goes through this. It's like, even if you Absolutely. are working one of those jobs. So I think yeah. that's the one thing I've learned is that it doesn't really, there's people that are doing those jobs that are looking at somebody like us or yeah. some people like us. And they're like, yo, they're going after it. Like, I wish I was doing that. And then you have people on the other side, like us, like going after something that we love, not knowing if it's going to work out. And we're constantly questioning it. Yeah. What I've learned is most people, all ages, like don't know what the fuck they want to do. Yeah, like, I've had people in, like, these classes before, like, older, probably, like, 40s. I remember this one dude asked one time, he's like, yo, like, this is what you're doing? I'm like, and my answer for some reason is always, like, yeah, like, I'm just figuring, you know, my fucking life out right now. And he's, like, 40 years old. He's like, so am I. Like, so is everyone. And I'm like, I'm 24. Like, I'm so young. Like, no need to worry. So that's why I'm trying to do, you know, this stuff. I'm young. Might as well do it now. You know, while the, I guess the passion is there. 